Certainly seen a little bit of it all. The spring yes. storms certainly strong today. In fact, tornadoes touching down in parts of our area mm -hmm. there. And we had totally. you covering that all night long. We sent our crews out there as well. Fox 55's Brianna Bias was out in Mercer earlier tonight. Here's what she saw, Brianna. I'm in Salina, Ohio, right on the other side of the Indiana border where a tornado touched down earlier today. Now take a look at some of this damage here on this property right on Highway 49 in Ohio. The roof of this building blew off on this side and there's just debris all over the property. And then this guardrail, let me tell you, it is heavy. I can barely pick it up, but the wind, the wind was able to pick it up and blow it from about 50 yards away and wrap it around this mailbox. And let me tell you, that was really the agitator here in Northwest Ohio, the wind. Here's a closer look at some of that damage. Windows blown out and debris all over the property. But these winds didn't just hurt land. Three people in Mercer County were injured and two of them were taken to the hospital. But Mercer County Emergency Management says all of those injuries were non-life threatening. And even though the winds have died down here now, that doesn't mean we're quite out of the woods yet in terms of risk. Over the next few days, you're going to want to make sure you're walking around with closed toe boots, staying out of any standing water, and staying away from any downed or damaged power lines. Those could all be risks over the next few days as emergency crews are cleaning things up. And also, if you walk under any damaged buildings or trees, look up and make sure there's no debris hanging that could hit you in the head. In Salina, I'm Brianna Bias, Fox 55 News. Thank you for that, Brianna, and we'll likely see much more damage and get even more reports as the sunlight comes up there for most of the places impacted by these storms. Weather updates and live radar, you need that, just download the free Fox 55 weather app. You can check that out for updates to the storms and reports. We're still monitoring those tonight.